press the bell icon and never miss another update from the frustrated indian good evening folks my name is atul mishra and we are here to discuss about the historic verdict delivered by the supreme court today the supreme court has given a clean chit to the modi government in the ongoing rafale case so basically the congress ecosystem led by uh, the prime minister in waiting or you can say the prime minister in waiting since eternity mr rahul gandhi uh, they were trying to conjure a scam out of rafale scam they were very desperately trying to create something out of this rafale thing basically they wanted to create a bo force moment for the bjp but today they have been dealt a severe blow by the supreme court so we will be discussing about this historic verdict that was delivered today we'll also discuss about the history of the entire uh, rafale deal uh, to discuss this further i have my colleagues uh, i have krishna kumar rai krishna kumar rai is uh, is a correspondent at rightlog.in and uh, i have mohit kumar pandey mohit kumar pandey is uh, an associate editor at rightlog.in all right krishna so let me uh, begin with you uh, since we are beginning so let's start from the very beginning let's just talk about the history of the rafale case first and then we'll discuss about what rahul gandhi did and what congress ecosystem did and what french government did and dissolved it but we'll come to it later on let's first start with uh, the history of the whole deal Well, thank you for having me on the panel, sir. Uh, so let us go into the history. Let's go in the past and see. So in twenty two thousand seven, a proposal was made from the Indian Air Force, basically, to the new Bay government mm-hmm. for procurement of one twenty six MMRC. MMRC stands for Medium Multi Role Combat Aircraft. Tenders for one twenty six MMRC fighters was issued by then uh, the UP government, then seeking the need to upgrade the Air Force. as well at that point of time and also seeking the national security concerns so furthermore on august 28 2007 dissolve placed its bid for the fall uh, the other bidders in this was swedish uh, swedish sap jazz sort kind ripen of mm-hmm. american lockheed martins f16 the boeing fa18 super hornet russia's mig 35 and eurofighter typhoon then furthermore on may 2011 Air Force then shortlisted Rafale and Eurofighter jets mm-hmm. as they found that to be suitable options for the Indian Air Force Army. In January 2012, furthermore, the bids were again opened and Rafale turned out to be the lowest bidder. They turned out to be the lowest bidder, and then according to the proposal, 126 jets were required, and out of which 18 fighters were to be brought in a flyaway condition. This is most important in a flyaway condition. Furthermore, Hindustan Aeronautical was supposed. at that point of time to manufacture the remaining 108 jets with assistance from dissolve obviously right, right and the most important point of this whole process was that there was no agreement like whatsoever made between india and france be it on pricing or be it on deliverables at that point of time and hence forth the process wasn't started at all okay great so so you basically mean to say that up did not sign the deal at all there was no deal in paper no. correct okay great uh mohit Uh, all right. So Krishna has uh, basically introduced the the entire history of the Rafale uh, Rafale deal, not the Rafale scam. So it's, it's still deal. It's not a scam. So uh, let's let's talk about uh, what was Congress's role in it, and what was uh, you know what happened in the UP era, and what happened in the BJP era when B M Modi became the Prime Minister of the country. The main point to ponder upon is that actually no deal was done uh, during the Congress era. Uh, it claimed that it negotiated a deal worth. Uh, 526 by by it, you mean the UPA government right? yeah yeah sure okay uh, the UPA government and the french government that time okay uh, were negotiated a deal worth 526 odd crores but it it was actually never in the substance it mm-hmm. never substantiated okay uh, the tender was out a bidding mm-hmm. was done mm-hmm. but no deal substantiated okay uh, now let us come to the bjp government ha huh. so start uh, so on april 10 uh, 2015 prime minister narendra modi visited france and mm-hmm. there the first time uh, there was a mentioning of rafale deal being uh, done between india and france mm-hmm. uh, as far as narendra modi's government is concerned right uh, again in january 2016 in a reso- reciprocatory gesture a uh, french president was here okay uh, he was the chief guest obviously in the 20- mr polan uh, yeah mr polan uh, again in 2016 france and india signed the rafale deal mm-hmm. it actually was on the paper for the first time okay uh, and the deal was worth 59000 crores uh, right uh, again uh, 
I am uh, using this rightlock.in's report to mm-hmm. quote that on October 3, 2016, Anil Ambani's Reliance Defense, uh, Defense Limited, Limited yeah. and Dassault Aviation announced a joint venture and under the contract, Dassault was mandated to make compensation investment in India worth 50% of the value of the purchase. Okay. So, uh, the uh, takeaway point is that no deal actually substantiated during the Congress era. Okay, okay. So, so, so great. So, there was no deal in the UPA era. Yes. And uh, there was a perfectly legitimate deal in the PGP as in the NDA era. Uh, so, how did this whole scam thing uh, came to came to came to picture? How did this uh, perfectly legitimate deal uh, become uh, a scam of sorts? And why did the Congress went on an accusation spree trying to create or trying to turn rather this uh, this perfectly normal deal into a scam? So, uh, Krishna, you could maybe uh, yeah. tell the audience a little more about it. So, Congress and controversy are like synonyms. They build up controversies <laughs> each and every time. Right, right. right. So, in November 2017, Congress alleged that the procurement procedures were bypassed mm-hmm. in acquisition of Rafale okay. and questioned the presence of Anil Ambani in France during PM Modi's announcement when he made the announcement, yeah. as Mohit mentioned, in Paris of 36 fighter jets, Rafale yeah. fighter jets. Right. Uh, to his response, to response of Anil Ammani, mm-hmm. I mean, he said that the allegations uh, that were being put upon him, that were imposed upon him, are actually false. Mm-hmm. And he released a statement saying that he was there, present in capacity of Indo French CEO Forum. He was okay. a CEO of Indo French Forum. Okay, and that's, why, that's why he was there. Yeah, okay. that's why he was there. Okay. And furthermore, Congress leader Randeep Surjewala also alleged that HAL mm-hmm. was bypassed in the FAL contract and questioned if there was an escalation of per aircraft cause since Congress and Rahul Gandhi and everyone says that there was a deal that was being made of rupees 5 has been the very foundation of their yeah. allegations yeah so they said that the purpose, right. Right. right so right. from 5.6.1 crore to 5, 1520 crore that sure. was the allegation that Andeep Surjewala right. was the right. spokesperson for Congress right. party said yeah okay uh, yeah but then there was some very strong comeback from the government and even from the forces right okay. Uh, yes, the comebacks were actually very befitting and uh, Congress faced a harsh rebuttal as it had been doing uh, mm-hmm. since long ago. Uh, while addressing to the Lok Sabha, mm-hmm. uh, Nirvala Sitaraman said that no wrongdoing was done in the deal. Mm-hmm. It was fair, very fair. And she also added that the comparison between the prices of the deal which Congress was about to sign, they were substantial though. Yeah, yeah, imaginary deal. Yeah, Imagine. of 126 Rafael jets and the deal which was done by Modi government cannot be compared. Of course. And then again, V.S. Dhanova, the air chief, uh, came to the rescue of the BJP and he took on the Congress, uh, though virtually. That was not a direct attack on the Congress, yeah. but he was... They can't even take it. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> but he was obviously supporting the government by saying that yeah. uh, the terms were better, better than the previous regime. Yeah. And uh, the terms which were negotiated under the MMRCA tender mm-hmm. were, were uh, at all cost better than the previous regime. Okay. Then again, Anup Praha feature said. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said that uh, it had provisions with the former chief of the chief yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, it had provisions for training. I'm talking about that deal. Let's let's talk about former chief of air staff. So, uh, uh, whenever you're mentioning these guys, always mention their uh, title. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so former chief of air staff Anup Praha said in an interview mm-hmm. that uh, again he just uh, mentioned the point which was uh, already mentioned by uh, the current air chief B.S. Danova. Mm-hmm. He went on to add that uh, the agreement had provisions for training, a better performance based logistic package. Uh, two aircraft maintenance and overall facility. Okay. So it is something which is an add-on to the previous deal, mm-hmm. and thus the prices cannot be compared. So basically, uh, UPA had an imaginary deal that that part we agree on. So basically, uh, the kind of deal that he that that he tried to enter in with the Dassault Aviation was maybe uh, an Android Eclair, a uh, 3.5 inch screen yeah. with no UI customizations, yeah. right? Uh, so what BGP did was that uh, BGP came up with the latest Android version, uh, maybe a 6.5 inch screen, yeah. along with a tampered glass and a nice mobile case and a charger and an earphone to go along with it. Yeah. Right? Insurance included. So I think this yeah. is insurance this, uh, included. Yeah, so yes. this kind of kind of explains what was the difference between the rough, the imaginary Rafael deal Rafael that deal. UP government mm-hmm. had and uh, the actual, the actual Rafael. Rafael deal that BGP yeah. signed. Oh, uh, sorry, the Modi government signed. Yeah. 
all right great uh, so but but that, that then again these are facts and uh, congress is allergic to facts right yeah and uh, this did not stop rahul gandhi uh, from going into a complete ranting mode he went on an ex- accusation spree and this basically culminated into uh, him hugging prime minister Man, modi maybe yeah. i have a conspiracy theory that maybe this guy and he's act- he's actually a genius let's say Rahul Gandhi planned everything just to hug Prime Minister Modi, right? Because he actually uh, he, he basically uh, created this thing, uh, the no confidence motion against the government, which of course failed. Uh, as did the allegations uh, about the Rafael deal on the government failed, and basically all he could uh, take out of the entire exercise was a hug from Prime Minister Modi, and which was very forceful. Well. Blinking of an eye. Oh, of course, of course, and that that epic iconic blink as well. Great. Uh, so finally, it uh, boils down to the judiciary stand, yeah. right? Yeah. So what the Supreme Court earlier mentioned and what the Supreme Court mentioned today, I think that is what is the net takeaway of this entire entire uh, uh, scam or uh, deal or whatever you can. The so called scam. Right? So called so scam. scam. Yeah. yeah. So everything boils on the judiciary, and judiciary today took a very historic. stands of this mm-hmm. before this uh, in september 2018 the supreme court in india agreed to hear the pil uh, petition related to this controversy and congress then said that they would first get in the necessary documents which till date they haven't got and on october 10 the supreme court then asked the central government to provide details of the decision making process in the rafale deal with france in a sealed cover by october 29th okay Then today, on October, uh, on uh, sorry, on 14 December 2018, the respective petitions were dismissed by the Supreme Court, and a clean check was given to the Modi government. And I see rule of the probe saying that court is satisfied with the decision making process. Mm-hmm. Uh, I repeat it, court is satisfied with the decision making process. And one of the oral remarks made by the bench while giving the verdict, the apex court could not sit in the judgment over the decision to purchase 36 aircraft instead of 126. It is a hard fact. That the 36 jet deal was negotiated after the earlier RF, RFP for 21, 26 jets came to nothing. The court said, "Okay." And on the pricing, the court reiterated that it wasn't its job, right? So on pricing, the court reiterated that it wasn't its job to examine the prices and specific financial details. Okay. So this was the verdict that court gave today. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful. So basically, court has sealed the gaping mouths of Congress yeah. party. and its entire ecosystem in one swift stroke uh, one more thing uh, when you were talking about that no confidence motion we must mention that point when narendra modi was responding to congress yeah, allegations that was, oh, that, was that, epic, was yeah, that was the best that was the best he that day looked very uh, full of conviction yeah and he was and he told that it was a sad day for uh, the governments of france and india both that's a fake allegation was made by made by the uh, president of the uh, Would this party in India? Yeah, and both the government, the foreign ministry of both the respective government, had to come up with a press release. As such, these two countries' relations between them are dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah even Actually, even to add on to Mohit's point, that uh, François Hollande, the then president of uh, France, yeah. he said that uh, they were, you know, pressed upon to have reliance as their partners. Yeah, and which. And which so is quoted, quoted by a very shady media portal. Yeah, media, media, media apart, apart media, media apart. apart. Some blogs, some blogs. Yeah, media. and then the French Foreign Ministry came up and said that, uh, see, we are giving freedom to the you know business, uh, business what we say, business portals to have and choose their own. Of course, you know no, actually, partners. Actually, please know the defense ministry in France has many times made it clear that yeah, no, there is no involvement of government in choosing exactly. the partner of exactly. the sort yes. of So it is very independent. Process. So see, I I have I I am running my own company. मुझे printer किसका लगवाना? If I want an HP का printer or a Canon का printer or a Samsung का printer, that's completely my prerogative, right? So I I wouldn't call the PMO and ask if Prime Minister आपके किसका printer लगवाना? And I think the injury result and adding the injury of Prime uh, French President Francois Hollande, the result then said. Then we were not forced to have reliance. Yeah, it was true. our own decision to have Anil Amani's Reliance Defence Limited. That's true. That's true. So that's and then that's again, it. Congress comes up with that angle, H A L angle, H-A-L which angle. they never relied upon in the past. Yes, that's we right. all are aware of the story of Tejas. Actually, of course, <laughs> a simple L C, and it took yeah. what thirty years, twenty-eight years, twenty-five yeah. years. Yeah. yeah, great. So of course, I mean, uh, yeah. So like I said, this this uh, verdict by the Supreme Court is actually historic, and it has sealed the mouths of. The, of, of the of Congress party, Rahul Gandhi, and all the everybody in the Congress e- ecosystem. Basically, Congress should take cue from this thing, and basically they shouldn't try to conjure up conjure uh, imaginary scams out of nothing. 
okay because there was nothing there is no scam but congress and its entire ecosystem was trying its level best to turn it into the mother of all scam and look how badly it fared for them yes so rafal is no go force rafal is a perfect perfectly legitimate deal between two countries there is no scam there is nothing whatsoever all right thank you mohit thank you for joining the uh, panel discussion thank you krishna thank, thank you for joining the panel discussion and we promise our audience that we'll come back again with a fresh new episode with a bigger with a better topic although i'm not sure if, if we can come with a better or bigger topic than this but yes i mean we'll try to come up with uh, with more interesting topics and interesting angles until then goodbye jai hind